ships, planes, trucks and trains. Every year they are used to take more than 20 million consignments of radioactive material to destinations all over the world. Places where it is urgently needed. For generating power, for diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, in industry, research, manufacturing, agriculture, minerals, exploration and in and around our homes. Radioactive material makes our lives easier, better, safer and healthier. The movement of radioactive material has an excellent safety record. That's because of the care taken by those sending the packages, the carriers delivering them, the package recipients and the stringent regulation provided both at the global level by the International Atomic Energy Agency and nationally by member states. This is one of a series of short films produced by the IAEA about the essential aspects of the safe transport of radioactive material. Using film footage of tests both in the laboratory and the field, it's about the testing of the different sorts of packaging used to transport radioactive material. When radioactive material is being moved from place to place, it's the packaging that protects cargo handlers, the public and the environment from the radiation it emits. That's why the design of the packaging is so important and why it's so closely regulated by the IAEA. It's also why the regulations require that all forms of packaging used for radioactive material are licensed and many of them tested. The tests are used to check that the packaging is fit for purpose, both in the normal circumstances of a journey from one place to another and, for some of them, in the event of an accident. We can't prevent accidents. You can't write a regulation that prevents accidents. Our approach is, if accidents happen, we will reduce the effects to acceptable levels. Industrial packaging is used for transporting low specific activity materials like bulk hospital waste and non-radioactive materials such as fuel cycle machinery or cooling water pipes from nuclear reactors which have had surface contamination. There are three grades of industrial package. Grade 3 industrial packages undergo a water spray test, a drop test from a height of 1.2 meters, a stacking or compression test and a penetration test with a 6 kilogram bar dropped from 1 meter. Type A packaging is used to transport material with higher specific activity levels such as medical radioisotopes or some nuclear fuel cycle materials. They are tested in four ways. A water spray test to simulate heavy rain. A drop test onto a hard surface from a maximum height of 1.2 meters for packages designed for solid materials rising to 9 meters for packages designed for liquid or gas materials. A stacking or compression test. A penetration test using a 6 kilogram bar released from a height of 1 meter. Type B packaging is used for materials with high levels of activity. The containers come in all sizes. Some are small, others, like those used for transporting spent fuel, weigh more than 100 tonnes. The test for normal transport conditions is the same as Type A packaging. But because of the hazard risk posed by the high activity levels of the contents of Type B packages, they have to be capable of withstanding major accidents. Within the transport regulations, we define what it means to have an accident and the packages are designed and tested to make sure that they can withstand those environments. Impact, fire, submersion in water are all events that can happen as a result of an accident. The testing of this packaging for accidental transport conditions requires that it can demonstrate the cumulative effect of an impact at 50 kilometers an hour or a drop of 9 meters onto a hard surface, a puncture, 
fire at 800 degrees for 30 minutes and an immersion test in water up to 200 meters deep. This film from the archives shows the early testing of a Type B package during the development of the Type C packaging regulations. Introduced in 1996, these address the requirement for additional engineering and safety factors, enabling a Type C package to withstand a severe aircraft accident. The remarkable safety record of the radioactive material transport industry is the result of the regulations themselves and the success with which they have been put into design practice. There are approximately 20 million shipments a year going by all modes, by sea, by air, by road. All of these are tightly regulated and in the history of transport of radioactive materials there has never been a death or an injury associated with the contents of radioactive material transport package escaping. To find out more about the safe transport of radioactive material visit our website at goto.iaea.org forward slash transport safety. It's also worth looking at the nine companion films in this series. Together they're a great introduction to the hows, whys and wherefores of the transport of these vital goods.